are you welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so happy to be here i hope that you are too it's been a minute a really really hot minute sija feel sija come babies but me no miss so i'm back again with a very interesting video and today i am i have come here to tell you guys why first first of all before that when the lena a video nimekuja kuambia mbona sija kuwa active on youtube it's because i'm very heartbroken i am very heartbroken guys this is what happened so i started youtube like i don't know like 10 months ago so i was clocking 10 months ago i'm a nine there about so my watch hours have been reducing like drastically reducing and i'm like oh my god i thought you are supposed to be going on an upward trajectory but things are not going so well for me so i was at like almost 100 watch hours and currently as we are speaking i am at 50 50 watch hours like they may reduce the magic like halfway like half of the hours are gone and i am so sad i feel so sad because it took a lot of work a lot of effort and resilience but it is what it is <laughs> so if you're a youtuber and your watch hours are reducing so as i was telling you guys if you are if you are a youtuber and your watch hours are reducing up, let me tell you what usually happens that will make your watch hours to reduce and guys if you are doing content you know how like how hard it, it is to gain even one one full hour of people watching you it's very hard because most of the people do not watch their video to the end probably because you are, you are starting and your content is not as interesting to them as it should be and probably because how jakuzoya so it's hard for them to watch your content to the end so when you are when you have posted your video on youtube for example me to me a wi-fi in my case let me give a scenario of my case what happened i was uploading my videos on youtube using my personal wi-fi at home and some people uh, including me and other people were watching those videos using the personal wi-fi you didn't upload so when they watch using that wi-fi that means that those watch hours do not count <laughs> they do not count and let me tell you guys each and every time that i upload a youtube video i am always the first like to view and i always make sure that you may view up to the end and unfortunately those hours do not count so if you are a youtuber you know what you want to watch and you are sharing the same wi-fi you can be buying bundles i'm gonna be using a different wi-fi while you are uploading so that those watch hours are are, to, are going to actually count because for you to be monetized you're supposed to have like 4000 watch hours and like 12 months of consistency and uh, and and a thousand subscribers of course so that is what has been happening in my life lately and i felt so bad oh my god i am giving up because hey it's so sad. I was only at a hundred watch hours and I feel so bad. So I took 50. Then now I'm in the lake to remove in the lake reduce. So I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. Should I continue with this YouTube thing? Ama niya chale now. But anyway, we are going to continue. That's why you are seeing me here. So today is on. Uh, let me check the date. So today is on the fifth of March, 2024, and. Uh, Today I have done a little bit of shopping and I'm going to be sharing with you guys how much 5,000 Kenyan shillings can get you when you're doing your household shopping. So stay tuned, I'm going to show you what I got and then we are going to make dinner together and then we are going to call this a vlog and if you're watching this video, please make sure you um, watch up to the end. Please make sure my like support me right now. I need any support that I can get because I am hanging in by a thread. I am almost giving up my people. I am almost 
almost giving up because hey is all watch hours is even heart break like is even heart break in a serious but anyway god will be there for us because he has always been there for us and i want to believe that by the end of this year to got me fika a thousand subscribers and 4000 watch hours cuz up kwa watch hours that is where everything becomes so hard but with god everything is possible right and with you guys supporting me we are going to reach there together so enough of this long Daddy. intro let me show you what i got so guys i am going to show you what i got and first of all i went to the cereal shop nika buy some cereals these are black beans nili buy jahe jahe zilikuanga 190 yeah then hizini hizini njugu nili buy peanuts peanuts zilikuanga 220 kenyan shillings for 1 kg and then i bought some rose coco this one's niza kupika githeri hizo ni beans then nikanunua yellow beans hizo niza kupika like niza kukula na rice and yeah anything yellow beans there we go the, from there i headed to the supermarket and i bought some cabras sugar 1 kg then i bought maziwa mala this is maziwa mala each was 65 kenyan shillings the sugar was 195 if i can remember very well then i bought some toothpaste for the baby and toothbrush this one was 220 kenyan shillings this one was 60 bob very affordable for the toothbrush because they were on a very insane prices of toothbrushes Then I almost forgot this one. Pia ini libai kwa cereal. This is long grain rice. 1 kg it was it was going for 190. 190 yeah. Then of course I had to buy some pishori 1 kg. This one was 200 Kenyan shillings. Then I bought some toilets tissue paper. This one was 176. Guys, I am very good with numbers. I always remember everything when I'm shopping. Then Tada! I bought some Jama washing soap. Nilipata menengai but menengai haiko on offer. It was na uko 260 ama 70. This one was on offer and it is equally as good as menengai. Nilinunua 170-80 per about. Then I passed by the market. Nikanunua kitungu na nyanya. Tell me why vitungu ziko expensive. Ivo like guys, this vitungu ni half kg and they costed me 75 Kenyan shillings imagine hizi nyanya ni za 3.10 like three of them were 10 shillings this ones are worth 50 shillings then i bought some milk this one is brookside i love to buy this milk because it it is usually very ooh, very creamy especially when you are making pastry like mandazis Alafu nika buy hizi to fresher this ones are for making tea. Then I bought some Rina cooking oil. This one was 520 something. Oh yeah, then I bought two or papas wheat flour. Hizi zilikuwa each of the flour was 201 202 shillings then i bought two ugali flour from pembe zilikuwa na offer zilikuwa 137 kenyan shillings this time siku buy ajab do ajab is nice but ilikuwa ga expensive leo haikuwa na offer so i opted to go back to my pembe that's what i bought i bought some star soft for baby's clothes i bought more milk Then I bought some popcorns. Popcorns zilikuwa ga 40 bob. 
then i bought some tomato paste tomato paste was 45 kenyan shillings then i bought some yeast yeast it was 75 shillings this one is for making mandazi and donut and everything then i bought some this is called garlic you know garlic this one was 30 bob then you can know a designated coconut this one was 50 shillings then i bought some this is pilau masala and these spices are very good and affordable imagine a whole of this tin plus the tin itself and then i bought some this one was cardamom this one is cardamom is it is used for making mandazis you can also add it on your tea this one was 50 shillings then i bought some little dates over here and that's all that and i bought some something here i bought some omo for for me for doing laundry and that is all that i got worth 5000 kenyan shillings tell me why it has back in a pesa as snacks yani the economy is going very up very high they end araka sana so this is what i bought using 5000 kenyan shillings tell me your thoughts in the comment section niambe vile economy na wapeleka na pia niambe kama many miss ju pia mimi ndo miss guys so see you as we prepare our meal and thank you so much for watching like this video comment in the comment section so guys it's time to make dinner i am going to be making beef stew and some garlic so this is me crushing my ginger and garlic and then we are going to put that in our meat i don't have time to marinate but this will do i'll just boil it with the garlic and ginger it and it is going to be awesome So guys here are our ingredients there is our beef nimeshai pre-boil it is good to go then over here i have crushed ginger and garlic then i have some bell pepper ho ho alafu niko dania hapo then niko na tomatoes zimezikata into dices some red onions some white onions and then i have some ingredients za kutengeneza kachumbari i'm going to be showing you guys how i make my kachumbari at home so let's get rolling let me show you how i make my beef stew let's start off by making our kachumbari so i'm going to cut my white onions into little pieces as you can see and then we are going to fry this in our sufuria next i am going to crush my ginger and garlic and then after that we are going to cook them and then we are going to we're going to blend our tomatoes nimesha ziosha so i'm just going to cut the upper part alafu cut them into big big pieces niziweke hapo kwa blender and blend them together with the pilipili yeah So 
So guys, hapa ni sha blend nyanya, then niko na white onions, ginger and garlic. We are going to start off by frying our oil, our white onions until zikue brown brown kidogo or you can leave them just white if you like. For me na ziachanga zikue white, sakangi zikue brown sana. And then zikisha iva iva, we are going to go in with our garlic and ginger and let that cook for a bit. As our onions are cooking, I'm going to prepare my lemons and then I'm going to squeeze them. Then our onions are ready. We are going to go in with the ginger and garlic as you can see. Alafu kisha ka ginger and garlic, make sure you stir well to ensure that they mix very well and they cook evenly. From there, we are going to go in with the paste that we had created using the tomatoes, the bell pepper and the peppers tutazieka hapo and we let them simmer for almost 10 minutes after simmering for like 10 minutes we are going to go in with our lemon juice and let it simmer again for 5 minutes and it will be ready then now we get started with our meat i we are going to start by cooking our red onions and when they are halfway cooked we are going to add the white onions and then we are going to stir that and give them a minute so that they can cook after that we are going to go in with our garlic and ginger and then we are going to let it cook as well then we are going to go in with our tomatoes Then we are going to add salt to taste, stir that and cover it and let it simmer. Then we are going to proceed. Then after that we are going to go in with our spices. I am going to add garam masala, black pepper and turmeric. Then we are going to stir that well cover it for a, for a little bit so that the spices can cook and after simmering for like one or two minutes we are going to go in with our meat just going to add it there and then cover again let it simmer again and then after simmering we are going to open back our sufuria and we are going to go in with the stock that we had removed from the meat and a little bit of water stir that well and then we are going to proceed to cover it again and let it simmer so guys this is after our beef has simmered we are going to go in with our green bell pepper amahoho and then we are going to go in with the leftovers of the onions the white onions put that in koroga very well and let it simmer for maximum of one minute we don't want our hohos to overcook and then after that we are going to cover it then after one minute to take a iso dania and immediately after we make a dania zima moto yako and your food is ready just koroga like that we want our dania to be green so that they can also act as the garnish of our food that's how you make yummy yummy beef stew for your ugali then we are going to proceed to our ugali i am going to show you how i do it our our water at this point has already boiled. Nitaeka unga yangu nilitumia hii unga ya ajab maize flour. And let me tell you guys, this flour is nice. It is white, sweet and very tasty. And as you can see hapo kwa kona kuna ile kachumbari yetu. I'm letting it cool so that I can store some of it and cook and eat some of it. Acha niwaambie guys, hii kachumbari ili slap. It was so nice. I really enjoyed it for the following week. Alafu hapa sasa guys, tunasonga ugali yetu, tunasonga kabisa mpaka we get the right consistency that we want. We are going to keep on stirring that ugali until ive. Na ukisikia ni ngumu sana unaongeza maji, lakini kama unapenda kasimiti, just make it as hard as you can provided that there won't be like maize flour particles just make, make sure that everything is well cooked after that you can cover it for a few minutes and it will be ready for you to to eat ama to serve then to finish off the ugali make sure umetengeneza coca shape kana kuanga very important kana fanyanga ugali is slab ama sijui kama lazima kakue by the lazima kakue sijui na mtu akipika ugali bila hiyo shape anywho this is me 
packing my kachumbari into these small small dishes and let me tell you guys this kachumbari it is slap yenye libaki kwa sufuria tulikula overnight then nime warm my nyama kwa microwave because ilikuwa imeanza kupoa and then here is our ugali it was really really nice naona venye inatoa moshi mji ugali imeiva alafu na msimnona sufuria venye inaka that means that the ugali is 100% cooked there we go ndio kanyama to make up on dani and then we are going to proceed with our very very yummy and sour kachumbari acha niwaambie guys this meal is slap as you can see there's a little bit of color hapo because of the nyama and the kachumbari a lot now of course ugali ni white and i really really enjoyed this meal thank you so much for watching this video i love you so much guys now please like him subscribe now make sure my watch the video to the end also let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i'll be happy to reply to your comments thank you thank you so much for watching see you guys in my next one bye